What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone has had a good week so far. I took a, almost a couple weeks off of making videos, just kind of wanted a little break. Work has been insanely busy and I just kind of wanted some time off. I just do this for fun, so I figured it would be nice to take a little time for myself. So, behind me you will see a jump pack. Now, to the left of it, you'll see another jump pack. Out with the old, in with the new. These things are awesome. I've carried them around for about 10 years, maybe 10, 11 years. I had an issue in college where the battery on the truck died late at night at school. And the police campus, the campus police had a one of the portable jumper packs, like this big red one here. I think it was the Jump and Carry brand. That's kind of like the you know mainstream name, if you will. And they're pretty expensive for what they are, at least they used to be. But I was really impressed. It was able to start the truck. It was winter, started it right up, and I was able to get home and then obviously went and replaced the battery because it needed to be replaced. Ever since, I've carried one of my own in each vehicle, and I think they're super important to have because it can really make an, an in, you know, kind of a, I don't know, something that would be like kind of a disaster on a vacation, or you're trying to leave for work in the morning, or you're at work, or you're somewhere late at night like I was. It can really be the difference of just a big production versus a slight inconvenience. And that's why I always have carried one ever since. Ever since that night, it has just been something I just don't even want to worry about. I want to be able to start the vehicle if this if a battery fails. As you can see, the larger red one, this is a Harbor Freight brand. It's one of those that is a sealed acid one. It's bulkier. It, this admittedly, this red one has worked every time I've needed to start it. I do have a newer gray one that I had got from Harbor Freight back in around 2015 when I had bought the Taurus initially. And it just, for some reason, it doesn't seem to have the kind of power that this red one does. I found that newer vehicles, or if the battery was pretty darn dead, it just could had no chance of, of being able to turn the vehicle over. And as I had kind of experienced that and seen the lithium-based ones, which is the smaller one behind me, I started to realize, you know, maybe it's better to get one of these newer ones. They take up less space, and they seem to be able to start bigger displacement engines. A lot of them will say they can start like an 8 or 8.1 engine, which may sound like a lot, but that's a 454. It's also the actual 8.1 engine that GM had, you know, up through the mid-2000s. The 8.1 was actually based on the 454. So, you know, there are engines in the Godzilla, the 7.3, if you have a 6.2 liter Chevy or Ford or 6.4 Ram, I mean, you start getting up there in the displacement, you'll want to be able to start those engines. These lithium-based ones are pretty small, and as you can see, this is it here. It does come with a case, it comes with a Type-C USB charger, and, and I'm not really going to focus on this particular brand. This is iMazing, it's on Amazon, has really good reviews, I got it for one of those lightning deals for a really good price. Um, but my point is not a review of this particular product. It's just to show you that these things are so compact and it actually started the Mustang when it had the dead battery a couple weeks ago right away. I could not get these sealed acid ones to start the car and I was absolutely amazed how quickly the car turned over using this. I've also seen my buddy with his 6.8 liter V10 he used one of these. It was one of the first times years ago I saw one in action completely blew, blew me away by how quickly it started. And so ever since then, I had wanted to upgrade, and when the Mustang, you know, had the battery go, I'm like, you know what, let me pick one of these up. I could get it in one day, I think it was same day actually with Amazon, so I was like, why the hell not? I'll get it anyways, I need something, and then I can go and replace the battery. So very, very impressed. I think the small footprint is really worth it. It's super small guys and it's something you could throw in a center console, you could throw it in like a trunk organizer in your car, you could throw it under a back seat, whatever you want to do. I think that these are really important to have and it's cheap insurance. It, like I said, I'm a believer in being as self-sufficient as you possibly can and whether that's going on a vacation, going to work in the morning, a date, whatever the hell it is something always happens it never fails and it can make for a memorable trip but i gotta say more often than not i'd rather just get going again as quickly as i can on my own terms instead of waiting for AAA, hoping someone has you know jumper cables which you shouldn't even be using on a newer vehicle anyways and that's why i think that these are such a great addition to your vehicle so let me know guys do you have one of these what brand do you have like i said noco boost is like a big one of these new lithium based ones 
but quite frankly, I think if you just look for one with good reviews like I did, for the most part, it's going to be hopefully sitting under the seat like your spare tire, basically. It's insurance to make sure that you can get going if you need to, but you hope you don't have to use it. So thanks for watching, guys. We will talk to you in the next one. Take care.